What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and Happy New Year! It's been a minute since I have been on YouTube and really social media as a whole. I took a couple of weeks off for the holiday to just spend time with family, relax, and it was lovely. If I sound a little bit congested to you, it's because I am. The first week of my vacation was great. It was just super low-key, great time with family. And then week two, I got super sick and I did take a couple of COVID tests. They all came back negative but I do have a little bit of that congestion still kicking around so you're gonna have to bear with me on that front in today's video. Today I wanted to do a full house declutter and kind of reset for the new year. I don't know about you guys but as soon as Christmas is over as of like the 26th I want the tree down, I want everything gone, like I just don't want to see it anymore and we were away for the week of Christmas so or the week following Christmas so by the time that we came back we were already like well into January and I like could not stand the sight of the tree when we got home so that's all down most of the christmas-esque stuff is gone and put away now but i feel like there's a bunch of areas in the house that i just want to have like a full clean reset for the new year and i feel like it's a lot of the things that i would have like done to purge and nest for vivian before she was born but now it's like okay it's been six months it's time to get into the nitty-gritty of these areas do a good declutter do a good purge and then clean if you like this type of video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you head out today but I would also love for you guys to comment down below with the area that you are either currently cleaning while you watch this video for cleaning motivation or you're going to commit to getting up and cleaning right after you finish this and let's get our homes in order together all right I'm going to start in the bedroom for obvious reasons I think one of the things that Jared and I are going to do this year we've kind of talked about is like not like a new year's resolution but a new year's goal is to actually invest a little bit more into our bedroom in making this a space that we really like. We haven't done any updates in our room since like 2018 was the last time that we did anything. We were thinking about it and we realized that we have invested or like updated, changed out every single room in our house except for our bedroom since we got married, which is like, there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. I know that most people don't update their bedrooms like every four years or whatever, but I think for us, it's like, okay, we have not prioritized or put much thought into this room. So let's just do a little bit more to make it feel like a space that we want to be in a space that's just for us now that we're parents and prioritize it. So a couple things we want to change out are this headboard. I'm thinking of maybe doing something that's just like wood and a little bit more minimalistic. Um, these like side tables as well as the lights that are on them. And then we both want to do something different above the bed versus just photos of us. Jared has always said that that feels shriny to him, which I think is a little over the top, but we're going to swap that out too. And then these closet doors, which I've talked about a couple times on Instagram, Instagram. We are going to have someone come in in the next couple of weeks to actually paint all of this white so it won't have any of this like scuffing anymore or like the different colored metal on it. I think it'll just make the room look a lot cleaner and it'll be a good kind of step for us to just get this room a little bit more refreshed and make it a little bit more us. If you've ever wondered why this wall here has been blank in my last couple of videos, it is because it broke. I took it down from the wall a couple of weeks ago so I could have like a mirror on the floor for Vivian while she was playing in her room just because it's like a Montessori thing. And I had it leaning up against the dresser for Jared to put back up because I couldn't get it back up myself. And it fell and it shattered. So we are not going to do that anymore. And I now need to get another mirror to put over the dresser. So that is on the list for things to do in the house this year, too. All right, let's start in here because this drawer is a hot mess right now. I'm going to empty all of this out and then show you guys what I'm going to keep and not keep because as you guys can see, these drawers are not like deep at all from what you can actually see. Everything is like shoved in behind here. So there is a lot of stuff that needs to be thrown out and we are going to give this whole space a little refresh. So here's the honest look at what was inside that side drawer. Some very random things. I have, oh, this is kind of like a holder for a 
little magnetic bookmark, which is lovely. I'm going to hold on to the magnetic bookmarks because I can always use those, but this little holder does no longer need to be in the drawer, so I'll keep those. This is like a little phone stand holder from Ikea that I got to put just like on the side table with my phone. I haven't been using it for that purpose, so I'm going to start using it for that purpose, and if I don't like it, then it will be time to go. Um, these are a bunch of thank you cards from when we had Vivian, and I don't have a good reason as to why they are in there. I probably only need to keep one of these as like a keepsake and get rid of the rest. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, this is my ring box from our wedding. And I have it in my side table because I always used to take my rings off before bed. This is the first ring that Jared ever gave me. So I'm keeping it for that reason. But the other one that's in here is honestly just like a Forever 21 ring that can go in the garbage. I do not need this number of pens in my side drawer. I need maybe one on occasion if I'm ever journaling up here. And then the other two are actually for my Bible, which I rarely read in bed. I usually read my Bible somewhere else in the house. So I'm going to rehome those. updated and refreshed side drawer with only the essentials inside this is much better and I feel like if I need to pull over and reach for something in the middle of the night I would much rather have this to sort through it than whatever the heck it was a minute ago okay so the next thing that I need to do here I'm gonna put that up top is sort through all of the books that are here and this is literally the exact reason why I got a Kindle for Christmas this is not a Kindle like sponsorship or promo or anything like that I was just so sick of this because I read multiple books at a time like a fiction a non-fiction self-help the Bible all of them and so I needed just a better way to store all of it so my Kindle is now my best friend but I need to find a better like spot for all of these and Jared and I don't have like a great storage solution right now for books. We do have a big bookshelf in the basement, but it's at capacity with all the stuff that's down there. And so right now I'm at a point where like if it's fiction and I've read it and I've kind of done it, it's time to just donate. So I need to be a little bit more ruthless with what is here, but my Bible can definitely stay up here. It has a well-deserved spot on my side table. And then I think the other one that I'll leave up here is Raising Passionate Jesus Followers. This is an awesome book that I'm not done yet, so I wanna keep it close by um, for now. As for the rest of this stuff, time to go. working up a sweat right now for the closet I saved you guys the long gory details and have already purged a lot of that stuff Jared and I did it together before the break so what I usually do when I'm purging my closet is I'll go through it the first time and we'll try and go through it together and then I'll typically post a bunch of it to an Instagram page that I will sell things off for like five bucks but whatever doesn't sell I'll either just give to family and friends or I will try and sell on Facebook Marketplace before donating. So I need to post a lot of this stuff on Marketplace to give it one last shot at selling before I donate it or give the rest of the stuff that my sister has claimed to her. Vivi is now awake. Say good morning. She's busy, hard at work over here. But that is good timing because I have a lot to do in this zone of her room right now. First of all, the Ubi is so full. I need to empty that. We haven't had kitchen garbage bags, so that's gonna happen first. And then I need to go through each of these drawers and do a big declutter and just reorganization of all of this stuff because it is all over the place right now. And same with her clothes. It's just kind of full to the brim of stuff that she's not currently wearing and things that don't fit her anymore. So we are going to do a big purge of this whole section. You have so many diapers, Vivi. We did it. 
This is all from your stinky butt, girl. Ooh. All these diapers that I just, I just about broke my back trying to get out of the ubi. She did poop though a second ago. She's been pooping like crazy. That's why the ubi's so full. So for clothing, all of this is organized into like bodysuits that are all in that like six to nine month range. And then this is all of the pants and this is all of her pajamas. So I'm gonna go through this and clear out anything that would be kind of before that six to nine month range. And then just get a sense of what things are almost not fitting her anymore. And if there are any things that don't fit her at all, because if you are new to my channel, my daughter is very long. So we are already looking to size up to some of that like nine to 12 stuff. So I'm just gonna go through it here and put aside anything that we want to save as like a keepsake item, but everything else that is either like for everyday wear or was borrowed from my sister is going to go back to her because she is expecting a baby girl in the spring. So we're gonna pack all of that stuff up for Vivian's cousin and just kind of give this a good refresh. Welcome to the dungeon, aka the bathroom, which is just very yellowy because of the lights up here. So I'm so sorry for that. There's a few things that need to happen in here. The first thing I'm very sad about, I ordered a new faucet for this sink that kind of matched the black accents that we have in this bathroom. But unfortunately, I only got one that had like the centerpiece and didn't have the three holes on it. So my husband's like, I literally can't do anything with this. So we're gonna fix that. Um, but we need to move this frame down. Does anyone else's husband always hang things very, very high on the wall? Because mine does. Love him. But we are going to fix that. We're going to center this above the toilet so it's just kind of in line here. And then I need to swap out the shower curtain in here because I put this one in the dryer and it just never went back to normal. Like these pieces just kind of curled in and it won't flatten now. So I'm gonna fully swap that out. And then in here, there's a bunch of bath toys I need to organize. And the fun thing is that we're gonna be going through all of this and doing a huge purge. So this is going to be the part of this vlog that I have been dreading and we are going to get it done. This is one of those drawers that I have not organized since Vivian was born. Do not judge me. There's a lot going on in here right now. Starting in the back here, I don't know why I always think to add these to my cart when I'm buying something at Sephora. I always expect that I'm going to use them and I never do. So note to self, next time, just don't add it to my cart. Are you still curling your hair with this black comb? Am I what? Are you still doing your hair with this black comb? Curling it? <laughs> I don't know what you do with this. I say curling it. Yeah, I brush my hair with the black comb. <laughs> Um, this should not be living in here and neither should this tart palette. So we're gonna say goodbye to that. This is, I'm pretty sure empty, which is very sad. Let's just give it one last shake for good measure because y'all know how expensive these things are. This is my problem guys. I want to keep this because there's like just barely a little bit in there when I shake it, but I'm going to be not ridiculous and get rid of that.
shout out to my old puffers. I have had this since the dark ages. This is what it currently looks like. I am going through right now old makeup stuff and I am going in. Like this is just garbage that was under here with like empty products and stuff like that. Um, this is all old makeup bag stuff that I'm tossing but I wanted to show you guys some of this stuff that I am getting rid of. Um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I have had since like, I feel like this was the first gift Jared ever gave me, which is so gross that I still have it, but time to say goodbye. Um, this e.l.f. palette here I'm going to get rid of. Um, this Saturday Skin Eye Cream just didn't really do it for me, and I've had it for so long now, so it's time to go. That's Empty Product. This Super Goop I'm going to hold on to because I love that stuff. Just old brushes that can go. Don't need any of that anymore. This NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick can go. What is this? This Alia Skin I've had for a really long time. Time to say goodbye. Um, what is this? This is a buxom gloss that I'm going to get rid of. There's just like, uh, maybe I'll hold on to that brush for now because I still use that set. Yeah, there's just like a lot of little things in here. This is like one of my um, makeup bags that I would go back to when I needed a really big one, but I just don't like frequently wear that much makeup anymore. Like I wear the exact um, like same kinds of products. I don't typically wear like a daily highlighter or anything anymore. Like I've just become a lot more minimal with my makeup. And so I can get rid of a lot of this stuff that I would have otherwise kept. Pretty well everything else in here is garbage. I'll keep that little eyeshadow or that little um, eyeliner sharpener because I use it sometimes for brow pencils, but everything else in here can go. That is a great purge. This is like all of our candles and scent related things. So like sprays, backup candles, um, essential oils, all that stuff, as well as a few other kitchen things that we don't have space for in our actual kitchen. Our kitchen is not big. You guys have seen it in our videos. There's not a lot of cabinet space. And so this like DIY sideboard was a way for us to get more space and more storage. So we have like garbage bags, recycling bags, kitchen bags, and then a couple of Nespresso things in here. And in this one over here, we have all sorts of things, really. I literally have like recipe books down here, more book storage, because I'm telling you, we have so many books. And the hard thing is Jared and I both love books. And someday in our future house, we would love to have a room that is like a library or office for all of that stuff. But as of right now, there's just some books that we're not willing to part with. And so we're finding creative storage solutions until then. We also have random kitchen storage in here. Like we have a blender and my beloved popcorn machine that you may think is unnecessary, but I absolutely love and I'm not getting rid of. So we have a hammer that I probably put here myself after we hammered something upstairs. That's my issue is I will be done with something. And then because I don't like mess i'll just put it somewhere that i can't see it and i'm like a very clean and tidy person but i would say that i'm probably not a very organized person which is why i'm working on this video right now so this certainly needs a new home <laughs>
y'all i am exhausted i have been cleaning and decluttering from noon to five just going straight through stopping in between to like feed the baby feed myself go pee but here we are still having one more room to do that i have not finished yet i guess it's not a room it's the linen closet which is not a huge deal but i'm just gonna have to do that tomorrow because your girl needs a break. I will say though that I am very proud of myself because I did every single room in our house except for the basement and what was the other room? The kitchen. The kitchen we just did right before Christmas. Like Jared went through and did the cupboards. I went through and did the fridge. So I feel good about that space. It didn't really need a declutter in this video and everything else is done. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling accomplished. I'm just feeling tired, but I think it was worth it just to be able to go into the new year, having the space sorted. Everything has a place, everything has a system. And that's just a really good feeling to start the year like that. And so I hope that this video has motivated you guys to go and do do some cleaning, get some stuff done to get it in place for the rest of the year. You honestly won't regret it. You can do a couple of hours. It doesn't need to be a whole house like we did today, but you definitely will appreciate having it clean for the rest of the year. If you liked this video, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up before heading out today, but I would also love if you could subscribe to my channel, be a part of the family. I'm really excited for all the videos that I have coming out this year and wanted to let you guys know that I am content planning and thinking ahead. So if there is anything specific that you want to see on my channel this year then just drop a comment down below let me know what that is you can also send me a message on instagram at beth grace moore and i would love to hear what you guys think but also just get to know you so thank you guys so much for watching and for being here and until my next video i love you i'm praying for you and i will see you soon mm -hmm.